He's the best defensive college shortstop I can remember in a long time. He's got quickness, he's got arm strength, he's got good hands, he has good anticipation. I mean, he's a potential gold glove shortstop waiting to happen. Obviously, his glove is uh, one of the things that stands out for him. Kyle's a guy with good feet. He's got great feet, got great hands. Very good hands, you know, very smooth. Probably one of the best hands in the organization, I'll say. Kyle's got very, very good first step, and uh, man, those hands and feet are great. He can do anything he want with the glove. And he's on the 2080 scouting scale, where 50's average. Um, he's probably 65 defender, and, and scouts don't usually go higher than 60 very often. I mean, this guy's gonna win gold gloves. Kyle Holder's defensive game is so developed that scouts can't help but talk about it in major league terms. It is, after all, a big reason why the Yankees took the shortstop 30th overall in 2015. He immediately backed up the pre-draft hype by leading all New York Penn League shortstops in fielding percentage last season, and so far this year in full season ball in Charleston, he's remained one of the minors' elite glovemen. Now, he's got his sights set on taking his tools to the next level. I'd say that, that outstanding play, uh, deep in the six hole, deep up the middle, um, making a jump throw or coming to get a ball backhand and throwing it off balance, stuff like that and stuff that can help pitchers out, limit pitch counts, help our team win and balls up the middle, cuts and relays, making sure you're in the right spot at the right time, things like that. As he works to polish his defensive game, Holder is also focused on improving his performance in the batter's box. That was the question mark at draft time last year, and Holder's bat lagged behind his glove last season with the Staten Island Yankees. But in 2016, Holder has been a different player at the plate. He enjoyed a 16-game hitting streak in May, and on the season is hitting close to 300. His OPS is over 100 points higher than last season, and his approach has been a simple one. I'm just trying to have a short, compact swing and uh, not do too much, try to stay in the middle of the field, middle, left, center, right, center, and. Just get my hits when I get my hits, help the team win with a bun, a hit and run, getting guys over, stuff like that. Um, other than that, just going up, trying to hit the ball hard. Try to stay in the middle of the, middle of the field, short, compact swing, and uh, that's about it. So far, the results have been there for Holder on both sides of the ball. His glove is steady, and now his bat is showing development. A year ago, he was just the Yankees' first round pick. A blessing, of course, that comes with high expectation. He learned from that experience, grew from it, and now is focused on becoming not just one of the game's best shortstops, but a leader on the diamond. Last year, um, I struggled with that a little bit and trying to live up to the, to the expectation of a first round draft pick and realizing what I need to do. But whether I was a 40th round pick, first round pick, I think we're all the same. I'm going out there working hard every day, just like everyone else. Uh, we talk a lot about you know cutting out on careless mistakes, uh, being in the right position at the right time, whether it's uh, cuts and relays or you know, really managing in the game and becoming a second coach on the field and uh, leading the guys on the field and uh, thinking like a manager and going through the game and uh, helping other guys out. I try to try to just be a leader and help them out and kind of use what I what I learned in college and the whole college life to try to be like being a leader and stuff like that, bring it out here to the ball field and kind of help them out. See more Yankees on demand and Yankee scoreboard content by clicking here. And you can subscribe to our YouTube channel right there.